According to his daddy, Jim Franklin began flying while still in diapers. At age 12, he stole the family plane and flew his first solo. When his father found out, he asked young Franklin if he'd been afraid. He said, no, my knees didn't knock. Only difference I could tell in that airplane with you in it and you out of it, it just flew a lot better without you in it. <laughs> and now Jim Franklin and Lee Oman make magic in the air in the skies over Hillsboro and Portland. From Rio do Sul, New Mexico, Jimmy Franklin in the Waco 7 and from Apo, Idaho. Lee Oman, famed Hollywood stuntman. A man of many daredevil talents, Lee Oman will perform freestyle stunts on the wings of Franklin's Waco mystery ship. Facing speeds in excess of 180 miles an hour and forces of six times that of gravity, Oman will do his routine through loops, rolls, and hammerheads. See if you can find Lee Oman. If you haven't found him yet, look down between the wheels of the aircraft. You believe that? All right, Leo, give him a wave because he can see you there. Hanging on that bar between the wheels of Jimmy Franklin's aircraft, Lee Oman. He's walking along. Everything is fine and dandy. Built my reputation in the very beginning on was my inverted ribbon pickup. And the first ribbon I ever picked up in my entire career the ribbon was between two 12-ounce Coke bottles. But spectators couldn't see the Coke bottles, so today two helpers hold the ribbon. If you get careless, it can be dangerous. And uh, you have to know your abilities, uh, your airplane's abilities, and stay within that envelope. Yeah, it's all a, a put on. <laughs> But uh, the people don't know that when you actually start into the routine. And a Super Cub is an airplane you can get away with an awful lot of crazy looking things, you know, like vertical stalls. And you just stall an airplane out in 400 feet, you know, and just dump it over and it flies away. And yeah, it's a great little airplane. His prize is a 1940 Waco. No advanced aerodynamics here, just an ear-busting black and silver biplane packing a powerful 600 horse Pratt and Whitney. Another new addition to Franklin's air show this year is wing walker Lee Oman. Lee is stepping into the footsteps of the legendary Johnny Kazian, who has stepped off the wing and into show announcing. Lee Oman hails from the Northwest. From Athol, Idaho, and that's spelled A-T-H-O-L. <laughs> A lot of people get it wrong, and I've heard all the jokes, but... 38-year-old <laughs> Oman describes himself as a daredevil. He is an accomplished aviator, an aerobatic pilot, skydiver, and now wing walker. Well, it's rather noisy. Uh, it is very windy. And sometimes he's got to go a little faster than normal, so you have to work hard. you got to make sure you got grips. But when everything's going real smooth, it's the best seat in the house. And now... Uh, <laughs> wouldn't you think that uh, Lee would uh, get a little tired hanging down there? And to say nothing of being cold, I know he's, uh-oh, something's happening up there. A problem has happened on the airplane. Uh, Lee Oman's use of the safety wire did come into play. Uh, he would have fallen off the airplane completely if it hadn't been for the safety equipment. And uh, however, at this point, he's hanging so far down below the airplane, as you can actually see with your own eyes, that uh, uh, physically with the wind blowing, it's just real tough for him to have enough strength to pull himself back up on the safety wire to where he can grasp the undercarriage of the uh, landing gear uh, with his hands. We understand veteran air show pilot Bud Granley and other experts are conferring about a possible rescue. They plan to race along beneath the moving aircraft in pickup trucks and cut Lee Oman loose. Time is of the essence since Jim Franklin's Waco is critically low on fuel. So what you're seeing here is a daring rescue as you are watching it. Waco, you'll be uh, on top of a blue Isuzu pickup, a blue Isuzu pickup. 
you just saw absolutely happen it was not done as part of the act leoman ladies and gentlemen let's give lee a big wave i think he had a cold ride yeah, oh so just got to, <laughs> got a good bump and <laughs> you gotta go bump off one. that's what the safety that cable's for miller <laughs> time that's what you were in a <laughs> Whoa, no kidding. Jesus. Yeah. Glad you're need a new suit now. Just a <laughs> hey, boss. <laughs> you all right? You bet. Yeah. Whew. Okay. I was saying, well, he better do something quick. He's going to run out of gas. <laughs> well, was that a show or what? in publications all over the world and attained uncommon acclaim in aviation. And of it all, he says simply, I believe in God and I believe in myself. Oh, I have slipped the surly bonds of earth and danced the skies on laughter-silvered wings. Sunward I've climbed and joined the tumbling mirth of sun-split clouds and done a hundred things you have not dreamed of wheeled and soared and swung high in the sunlit silence. Hovering there, I've chased the shouting wind along and flung my eager craft through footless halls of air. Up, up the long delirious burning blue, I've topped the windswept heights with easy grace, where never lark or even eagle flew. And while with silent lifting mind I've trod the high untrespassed sanctity of space, put out my hand and touched the face of God.